let's say i have two sets a and b let's say this set has some three elements this set has some two elements like this the union of sets is denoted by a union b and it comprises of all elements which are either in set b or in set a what i mean is this union will take into account all elements that belong to any of these sets so a union b will comprise of all elements which are in any of these two sets okay now a condition may arise or case may arise where these two sets have the same element in that case a union b we don't repeat it repeat the element we just write that it is like this because it has taken into account this d once so we do don't need to write it again okay by def going by the definition a union b should have all the elements which are either in set a and set b and if i write d once only then also this condition is satisfied okay so this is what a union of sets is let's take another example of union of sets let's say i have a set a with four integers i have a set b with again four integers i have a set c with again four integers now let me ask you the question what is a union b union c so going by the definition of union by of union of sets a union b union c should have all the elements which are either in set a or in set b or in set c so let's write 1 2 3 4 these are in set a right then 2 i have already taken into account 4 also has been taken into account so i will have to write 5 and 6 similarly i have taken 1 2 and 6 into account so i'll have to write a so this is what a union b union c is okay now let's understand okay now let's represent this union of sets using venn diagrams suppose i have a set a i have another set b now let's see what a union b is in terms of venn diagram now since a union b has to take into account all the elements which are either in a and b so this is what a union b is in terms of venn diagrams okay now similar to union of sets we have intersection of sets so let's understand what intersection of sets are intersection of set is denoted by a intersection b if i have two sets let's say a and b then intersection of sets is denoted by a intersection b what i mean when i say a intersection b is i have to take only those elements which are common to a and b let's say i have a as k and a b c d and i have b as let's say only d and e so what's a intersection b to find what's a intersection b i have to take only those elements which are common to a and b so which in this case is only d so a intersection b is d okay this is denoted by a intersection b takes into elements with x such that x belongs to a and x should also belong to b this is how a intersection b is if i take the example which i had taken in the last case where a was let's say 1 2 3 4 b was 2 4 5 6 6 c was 1 2 6 8 what is a intersection b intersection c remember now we need to take only those elements which are common to a and b and c so let's see i have this is not the element 6 is not here so this is also not the element 
two is there in all the three sets so two is will be there one is not there in b so the only element which is lies in a intersection b intersection c is, is two okay now again if you want to represent intersection of sets using venn diagrams let's say i have two sets a and b okay and now i only need to take those elements which are common to a and b so this is the region i need to take this is the region okay now suppose i have two sets a and b which are not intersecting so then b is phi there is no intersection or n of intersection b the number of elements which lies in a intersection b is zero okay so this is what intersection of sets are okay now if i want to write a union b it was what a plus b minus a intersection b this is the case because if i have two sets as a and b now a into b a union b sorry a union b will take only those elements which are either in a or in b but i shouldn't repeat the elements right so a union b is a if when i take a it takes all the elements in a when i take b i take all the elements in b but i take these elements once again which i have already been taken in a so these elements i have taken twice in once in when once I, when i was taking a and again when we took b so i need to subtract this and what is this this is a intersection b so a union b is a plus b minus a intersection b so number of elements in a union b is number of elements in a number of elements in b minus number of elements in n intersection b okay okay so we have seen what union and intersection of sets are now let's understand what a subset is okay let's say i have a set a again i have a set b now this set a is said to be a subset of b if each element of a is in set b what i mean is let's say i have two elements a and b in set a i have some five elements in set b now you see that each element of set a a and b in this case are there in set b so a is a subset of b this is denoted by a subset of b right now if a case arises where any element of b is not in a for example c d and e is not in a then a is said to be a proper subset of b because b completely engulfs set a this b has set has elements a b c d and e now this is set a so set a completely lies within set b okay is completely inside set b okay and there are elements which are in b which are not in a so in this case a is a proper subset of b and to denote denote proper subset we write like this this sign comes when let's say the number of elements in a and b are equal remember when i say a subset of set a uh, element uh, set can be a subset of itself also because let's say i have a set a another set a these are two elements a and b these are two elements a and b i can write a as subset of a a as subset of a right because a has all the elements which are in set a so a is a subset of a we can have a case like like this now all the elements of set a are in set b right but there is not a single element in b which are not in set a so in this case we have to write like this because is a is not a proper subset of b okay so this is how we define subset of a set
Now let me ask you a question. 